Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to the class. How are you today? I hope you had a great Tuesday and uh, that you are ready for the class. So, as usual, we are going to check about the platform first. And uh, remember that by the next, let me think, Tuesday, by the next Wednesday, we have to do the, the middle test. So, all the homeworks and the middle test. So that is very important. Okay, so we are going to start with the platform, which is this one. This is the class for today. We don't have a homework specific for to for tonight, but we need to move on. I hope you you are moving on with the platform. So and we are going to check about the attendance, of course. So, Ada, hello. Hello, teacher, present. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, that was just before, right? So, Ada Susana, thank you. Present. <laughs> okay. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velázquez. Present, teacher. Good. Dani Josué García Martínez. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Iliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Bran Mejía. Present teacher. Good. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Good. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejía. Sonia Guadalupe Benítez de Claros. Sulaima Yvonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Perfect. Okay, very good. So we're going to start. Uh, who's present? Me, present. Good, gotcha. Sorry, late. Don't worry, that's fine. And I see that Danny also is here, right? And that's it by now. Okay. So uh, we're going to check about what causes conflict in multicultural teams. So this is a reading. So we all have the chance to participate. So what causes conflict in multicultural teams? Okay, the first part is going to be for Yvonne. Yvonne, could you please help us? Okay. What causes conflict in multicultural teams? Conflicts is normal in teams. Any experience professional knows that working in a team means dealing with conflict. Dealing with conflict can be tough at the best of times, but consider the extra demand on team members and managers when the team is multicultural. Working with uh, managing people from different cultures is an extra challenge. This is especially true if the team leader is not aware of what is causing the conflict and how best to manage it. Good. Here, what you get, I'm sorry. What did you get from that one? Okay. Uh, when you have a multicultural team, um, uh, every person in the team have that different way uh to make uh maybe uh his job her job uh, 
have a different method uh, to work or different ways to try to achieve uh, the goal of the team in sometimes uh, that can start a conflict because uh, I have my my thought about what is the correct way and other people have uh, another idea and uh, they, they cause uh, and in sometimes argument uh, uh, between the members of the team and if the team doesn't have a, a good leader that is a, a, a really big problem big problem because uh, your team is not in the correct way to achieve the goals uh, of your department and your company Okay, very good. So that is true. I mean, uh, whenever you are the leader, when you are the manager or the head of the department, something like that, if you are leading a team, you need to, to manage conflicts and you need to check why, why they are happening, right? So it's very important for, the, for you to, to understand that situation and then try to solve it the best way for the whole team. So yeah, if you for, and, for example, if you are the leader, uh, you have to explain uh, to all the people in your team what is the correct way that you want uh, the, the people can work or the method that they have to follow to complain the goal. That is true. Since you are the leader, it's because of many reasons, of course, and one of those is that you know you know how to do things and you can teach them, right? You are going to be with them uh, designing a plan or providing the steps. So that is very, very important. Good, perfect. So it says here, uh, we are not going to be looking at how to manage conflict, but take a step back and first consider why does conflict happen? So the first two are going to be for Maria Alejandra. Um, starting here or here yeah that is fine uh -huh. here here eight of the most common causes behind conflict in multicultural teams number one time how does a team manage how does a team manage time how long should the apportation to a task a portion a portion to task, what is considered a waste of time? How flexible are people when it comes to their personal time? These are all major differences that cause conflict all the time. Managing, managing team expectations around time is crucial. And number two, pro procedures. Proceed. Yeah, procedures. Ah, procedures. Uh, how are things done in the team? Who do people report to? Are there processes and protocols? Who do what? Who do we turn to when we need help? Different cultures have different understandings around reporting relationships, responsibilities, projects, scope, scope, etc. If people are working in a different ways, conflict will be ine inevitable. 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 Good. What did you get from these two? Mm. Uh, with respect for the time, I think that is very um, conflict when you don't respect uh, different hours. For example, when you pass for your schedule and you um, 
is sent uh, uh, for your team, uh, I don't know, uh, to a meeting. And maybe is is difficult when your other or other pensioners have a errands or um, kids or I don't know different thing that's important for the different person, for example, to practice any sport or like this. And I think that it's not common that the boss or the other person understanding your uh, I don't know you, that how you like or when you decide to spend your time and maybe relation with the time and procedures. I think that is it's complicated when the persons work in a different companies and then to come a other company that the procedures is completely different, maybe for the culture or or you don't or the boss or that the persons that you report don't give you that the information that when you have a problem what do you do or what or for different situations maybe is when have a problem but when you understand all the circles or the responsibilities and the protocols maybe to or all good or only that okay perfect thank you so yes i mean both these are important. The first part, uh, there is something that I, I believe is very important that it says, what is considered a waste of time? So what is considered? Meaning that it's not the same for everybody, right? We have different points of view and we speak with people from different cultures, definitely. There are going to be different points of view on this as well. Procedures, of course. I mean, you create procedures and processes for you to have a standard and then you will be able to to know what to do so somebody i guess you saw was saying about that one you need to to provide the steps on how to do things so that is going to be a way for you to uh, to check i mean if you have some questions about how to do something or when or what to do well you just go to the procedures and it's going to be a good idea to to follow them, right? So, but sometimes people, they don't, they are not aware of them or they don't like the way that they do or they do it or, or understanding in different ways. So both are very important. Good. The three and the number four are for Fernando. Okay, teacher. Um, communication. Number three, communication. How do team how sorry how do team members communicate? Does technology help or hinder? How is information channeled between a manager and team members? Communication is key to collaboration. Managers really need to ensure they understand differences at personal and team levels. Number four, goals. Do all team members share the same goals? What are people's real priorities? Are team objectives clear or unspoken? When team members share very different goals, pulling in the same direction is going to be a challenge. That's why team leaders need to ensure the goals work for everyone. So what did you get from these two? Uh, I yeah, it's it's essential in all all kind of teams uh, communication, not only in the war team, also in you know in the family team, in the football team, also in all kind of team. The communication is essential. 
and communication uh, leads to uh, achieve the goals because the, the goals is the objective. But the leader of the team um, make, uh, may do the, his job, ensure that everyone feels, uh, feels the passion or feels the, the, the needs to achieve the goals. Okay, very good. So yes, uh, both are also very important. On communication, I mean, that is a big problem for all the companies in my point of view. I have been in many companies and this is something that is a big problem because of many reasons. You know, because I mean, sometimes the manager says, we need to do this, but the other person understand or communicate that in a different way. And after four or five people that are communicating the steps, the guidance or anything that you need to do, it's not the same. I don't know what, why that happens. Uh, and it's a big problem. I mean, the bigger the company, the worse problems they have. So it's a, a huge situation that sometimes it's very easy to, to try to fix. I mean, for example, if you have a meeting, for example, it's very easy that somebody sends the agreements of what you discuss in the meeting by email. So everybody understands that one. And everybody, even members of the team that are not there the day of the meeting, for example, because of many reasons, um, they understand what they have to do. So things like that are very, very important to do, but sometimes companies, they don't do these things. And communication is, is key in actually, as Fernando said, any relationship, any, I mean, friends, co-workers in a team uh, of sports, whatsoever. So that is key. And sometimes there is a lot of, there are a lot of miscommunication. There are a lot of misunderstanding because of that one, because you say something and the other understood something different. And then a big problem can be. So it's a big, a big issue. And goals because, yeah, you need to be sure that everybody has the same goal. Maybe everybody will have goals, but are they the same? Are they uh, in the road of the main vision of the company? So that is very important. Good. Okay, resources and rewards. So this is number five and number six. It's going to be for Jose Rivas. Are you there? Yes. Good. Which one? Resources, right? Yep, it's resources. And the number six, I'm going to move my screen. Oh, okay, sure. Uh, are resources available for everyone in the team? Can every, everyone access, access them just as easily? How does a lack of resources impact people in their roles? and creating competition within a team for resources paves the way for bad team spirit. Teams need to know they, they work in a fair environment. Uh, manage, manage team to people from different cultures. Um, is, yeah, number no. six, please, yeah. Okay, sir. Okay, how should we be reward? money or a part of the back as individuals or as a team, what is being measured in terms of success. And teams that feel they are not being rewarded in the right way will lose the truth. Uh, the managers have to understand their team's motivations. Good, what did you get with number five and number six? Okay. Can you please can you please scroll uh, scroll up? Just to check. Definitely. Versus completion Okay, I think that the resources are like are really important in order that that we can get like the requirements or like to check the environment to see like the motivation that the team like have or has, right? So, and also 
uh, creating a competition. So it's cool, right? So actually there are uh, like uh, individuals, individuals goals and also like a, a, as a team goal, right? In order that, that both can reach so they, their goals. And what is the number six, sir? Let me just move back. Okay. And let's see. Okay, so actually, so that is cool, really nice. So that the manage the managers like have to to note or, and understand right what is like the the vision or what is the like the the motivation right that the team have in order to like get the walls or in order to get like a good environment. I think that is really nice, the rewards. So in order that, that we can like feel motivated to get it. Okay, very good. Perfect. So both are very important. And maybe for me, in my opinion, it's more important rewards because people need to be motivated. But that is true. Not everybody gets motivated the same. Some people, I mean, money, right? If you mm -hmm. give them money, if you give them uh, coupons for supermarket or gasoline or anything like that, they are happy and that's it. But and some other free time, right? Exactly. Like a, a time off, right? Yeah. So, or uh, I mean, there are kind of things related with with money, like food, for example. I'm going to give you a nice food for lunch because you are one of the best. So, people, they really, really care about those things. So, the other there are other kind of people that are totally different that is better for them to uh, that your boss goes and tells you you are great you did very good you are amazing and they they feel more motivated so uh, there are different things that motivate us and uh, maybe the problem is that one so uh, it's not that everybody as individuals were different but also if you come from different cultures of course, it's going to be a different impact on this, uh, depending on who you are and what are your, your beliefs or what motivates you. So as a leader, you need to research on those first, right? Yes, right. Good, number seven and number eight, uh, Giselle. Teacher, I'm just taking my dinner. Can I participate later? Please. Of course, not a problem. That is fine. Enjoy your dinner. Thank you. Perfect. Jose Wilfredo. It's not possible. Okay. So, Marcus. Okay. Um, Rose. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Rose. Are people Rose? Rose clear? What is hierarchy? Hierarchy. Hierarchy, sorry, of the organization. Do the roles overlap with one another? Where does the accountability really lie? In organizational structure where roles are not properly managed, conflict is common. Teams need to be given clear, clear, clarity. 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 And the eighth, two? Yeah, please. Okay. Leadership. What does a good leader look like? How much respect should a boss receive? How involved should a manager be in their team's pride? Her leadership will always have a knock on effect when it comes to conflict. Leaders need to adapt to their team different expectation and needs. Okay. Okay, what do you get from this? Okay, um, uh, for example, in the seven point, um, in something that is common in the company or the enterprises when uh, the conflicts appear when someone is doing some words from yeah, some word from this department or from another department and maybe 
um, we are receiving order from other people at the same level and that is so confusing and uh when that happened and uh, uh, sometimes it's not clear when um who is the boss or who are set the the role so it's important to establish uh, the the roles clearly because uh, in order to to have um a clear structure the organization of the of the company and for example and sometimes happen that uh, we have another team work and but we already have a um a order to do and uh, given from our boss and sometimes we don't know what to do what to do first so it's important to uh, have the roles clear in the organization because it's a common cause of conflict and with the leadership yeah it's important to have a good leader because um in the projects sometimes the, the project manager or the boss uh, at the time ask for how is how is the progress of the world but he but he is not constantly pushing the the, the team to to advance and uh, if the team doesn't see a uh, uh, a good leader a good qualities of leader in, in in the boss maybe the team will will do whatever they want and the the work never be done at the at time so it's important to to have a good leader with the best um qualities uh, uh, or the best attitudes or leader in at the head of the projects I'm sorry to chair, I cannot hear you. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes. Very well. So definitely both are important. I mean, roles has to be very well defined and the leadership has to be something that, I mean, uh, with some attitude, some uh, characteristics, as you say. Uh, what is actually a uh, question for everybody. What is the difference between a leader and a boss? what is the difference between those is the same what do you think uh maybe you... oh sorry sorry go ahead no no go ahead go ahead oh, okay okay thanks uh maybe i think for example a boss is a person who is in chair to present results uh Sometimes he only focus on on give the result and uh, the way how to do it doesn't matter so much. Uh, while the leader maybe will be more in involved with the team to help all the all the all the member from the team and try to to do a. Uh, equal um, advance that uh, he matters on the 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 whole team accord uh, or give a uh, meaningful contribution from for the team and sometimes the, the boss is only asking about the progress but if the team someone from the team has uh, a question um it's not his problem so maybe the, the the leader is more engaged or involved with the team more and i don't know how to say um yeah engaged 
Okay, engagement, that is a key word. Very good, perfect. Uh, Ana Claudia was going to say something. Yes, I agree with Marcos. I was about to mention that, that the leader is involved with the team and lead with the example and also work together uh, hand by hand with the, with the entire, uh, it, it works, makes the team works in a teamwork. Uh -huh. and, the, and the boss is just following rules or following steps. And as Marcus mentioned before, asking just for, uh, for a comp to accomplish or if you reach your goals or, but it's not uh, explaining you or taking the time to identify how to help the members of the team. That is the opposite with the leader. I, I agree with, with Marcus too. Mm -hmm. Very well, perfect. So yeah, it's totally not the same, right? Is I mean, uh, a leader is is there with you, is showing you the steps, is engaged, is showing you what are the goals, what you want to achieve, and it's part of the team. So there are many things. Any other comment about that one? What is the difference between leader and a bus, a regular bus? I think um, a leader um, worry about and um, develop their say people and they uh, the leader um, give the credit for the goals that that is achieved for the team. Um, um on the other hand and the the lead, the, the boss um, i i have seen many cases and the boss take the all the credit for themselves and they <laughs> these kind of people uh, go to their um, superiors and and they say oh watch all oh, that i did and 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 really in, in the reality is the people who have made all the job so and that is a very very common um, example in the difference between a leader and a boss and uh, the boss don't, don't, don't worry uh, and doesn't don't, don't care if the people are are being developed in 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 the organization and um, neither um, if if someone is um, is accurate or he has the the aptitude for developing a specific job and, and the leader um, take take all into account um, when when they are going to um, give a a task or a job. Okay, very well. So that is true. I mean, uh, it's not the same to be under a person that they don't care or that they are not developing people property right so and that happens i mean i believe that everybody has seen somebody that takes credit for something that other people have done and ah, definitely it's not good that's why the company sometimes when they are looking for the leaders of the different departments it doesn't matter which department they look for for values for some specific values right because if you have the values then it suppose that you are going to develop people, but um, sometimes that happens and definitely is, is not the same. So I have another question for you. Um, have you ever managed a conflict? Have you ever had a conflict uh, in a team that you need to solve it? And what, what did you do? Can you please share with us? Maybe if um, you have some contact, uh, external contact, maybe uh, you can use that um, contact to try to solve by yourself. 
because if you are uh, working in a teamwork with a boss, uh, maybe the situation is, is uncomfortable because uh, if you are looking for, um, um, I don't know, some, some answer, you can't find them with that type of person. So uh, if I uh, work in a company with uh, that uh, position, or I don't know, maybe I will looking for my answer in another um, person, totally different, maybe with other department, similar department, or with external uh, contact, my friends or uh, previous work, work, worker, no, ¿cómo sería? Compañeros, ex compañeros. You are uh, con el micrófono cerrado, maybe. I can hear you. Of the record. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, it's, it's my point of view because um, I think that when you are when you have a problem in your um, in your activities, daily activities, uh, you need to solve. And maybe if you can't count with your um, boss, you need to solve with other. Uh, okay, with other person? Uh huh. With a third party person, let's say. Yes. Yes. Okay, so that is true. That is true. Sometimes, I mean, the best option is is to look for help, right? I mean, human resources should be the perfect, uh, the perfect department to come and try to have different points of view. But sometimes even with them, it's a little bit difficult, right? But yeah, to look for help is a very good option. So I, I was uh, talking about a, a specific activities in my teamwork. Okay. Well, so when you have, uh, when you, when you need to, to external that situation, maybe you need to look for a human resources. But sometimes I think that it's, it's very um, difficult because maybe the boss is not a leader, leader yeah. but uh, maybe uh, that person works well and the company needs that support. So the thing is, the problem here is uh, the, that type of person is, are, sorry, are uh, totally individual and maybe they uh, just looking for that, looking for uh, the um, own benefits. But uh, how, how I was saying, sometimes, company needs that type of person. The problem is for us in that case, because you need to um, work in your daily activities with or without their help. And okay. you know, when that person may be solve to the um, uh, next boss, I don't know, CEO, for example, uh -huh. for example, uh, maybe um, it's, it's como que no les importa si no, si no te ayuda. That it's your problem. Your work is your problem. But if that person solves their own work, is done. So you you if you can talk with human resources, but they don't do anything about 
that situation. So it's, it's complex. It's very complex. Yeah, the situation that you have uh, told us is, is difficult because yeah, sometimes mm -hmm. that happens. And that depends also on the values and the philosophy of the company and also the leaders that are there, right? Because I mean, mm -hmm. Uh, it shouldn't be that way. Uh, it should be that maybe they're good workers, but also it should be a way for uh, to 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 be a team worker, right? So that is also very important. There are many things that should be done there. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Uh, any other person that has had a conflict uh, that you had to manage a conflict before in a team, any kind of team? Any kind between between the team? Uh, yeah, in any kind of team, and you had a conflict. What happened and what did you do? I have had a lot of them. I just tried uh, to make them uh, to make them realize that this is not school. This is the job. So this is your professional life, and you gotta be able to tell what you don't like about the other person with all the respect and 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 not behind right but here face to face and talk about it and find the solution together because if there is a conflict with just two or three of the team the whole team is affected that is true right so i try to 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 let them talk and to find the solution together with all the respect, right? Nobody gets angry because uh, if I tell you something I don't like about you with all the respect, I, I, I think I'm not doing anything wrong because we are trying to find out a solution. Okay, very well. So that is it, right? Sometimes, I mean, sometimes conflict are caused because of tiny things and sometimes they are real problem but what you need to do is just to go in and let them know that with a team we are under the same goal that is what a leader should should be doing actually right just to sit down tell me what do you think what is the problem and let's fit i mean we are going to be here and we need to work together very good any other comment Okay, so we're going to do a little exercise. Uh, we're going to go to breakout rooms and we're going to have, a, I'm going to tell you a problem. And you are going to come with one or two or three strategies or how to handle this conflict, okay? And then you are going to share what you decided. So you are going to discuss with other person and then you are going to come and share what, what outcome would you do to this conflict? So the conflict is like this, it's kind of easy, but also it's kind of uh, complex. So imagine this, you are the manager of a company and the company is about uh, selling things whatsoever. So you have one salesperson, this person is the best, I mean, this person is amazing, he's the top, he doubles the sales to other people, he always gets to the goal and beyond, he always brings new customers, and uh, he always, I mean, he has been like that for a long time, he's the top salesperson. But then you have, you have had received some, uh, some comments from some employees that he is discriminating people that he's telling other people that he's the best or that they do not deserve some things and treating some of employees in a bad way. Human resources, they say that is not going to be tolerated, that one. But then if you fire that person, let's say, you are going to lose 25% of your customers probably. That is a lot of money. What will you do? So we're going to discuss that in the 
uh, in the breakout rooms with a partner. And then I want to give you a few minutes, maybe five, seven minutes. And then you are going to come with what will you do in this kind of situation? Okay. Any questions on the conflict on there? On what you need to solve? No, teacher. Very well. So uh, here we go. I'm going to give you around seven minutes, let's say five, seven minutes, and then uh, we're going to go come back and discuss with everybody what you have decided to do on this situation because you are the leader of this company. Here we go. Hello, how are you? So far, it's good. What about you? I'm ready. Okay. Teacher, yeah. I'm, I'm really apologize with you because I asked for a question for, for a help, but because I was alone, but now I have a team to work.
from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. Oh, be... yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, right. That I is... guess we are going to be just you and me here discussing about the, the issue with the conflict. Okay. So yeah. let's see. I guess the teacher is there, right? <laughs> I'm just, yeah, yeah just passing okay. by. Don't worry, let, you can continue. No, no, but let's see if we understood. So uh, we need to to decide. One of us is going to be the, the manager. Uh, the company has a top seller, a top performer. But this top performer is uh, treating the the other team members on a bad manner, right? Bad way. Yeah, yes. he's discriminating. Discriminating, okay. Maybe because of his races or anything like that. Uh, so okay. women... Okay, so we need to decide if how to to talk with this top performer. Or what is what we need to decide? What you need to decide is what you are going to do. So ah. this cannot continue. Human resources, no. human resources come to you that you are the manager and says, uh, "This person has to be fired." Oh, so that, you know yeah. that if you fire that person, you are it's going to like lose a, a lot of money, a lot exactly. of customers. Yeah. Okay. So you need to know, I mean, what, what would you do? I mean, you're going to fire him. You're going to do something different. What will be mm -hmm. the way that you will handle this? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I got it. Perfect. Well, Perfect. in this case, Jose, I don't know if you want to. Yeah. But I don't know. Mm, okay. Um, for me, I think that the first thing you have to do is uh, to realize that there is a there is a problem, and they uh, the other employees have told us that 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 person is a problem with all the attitudes. that uh, well, for example your your team work <clears throat> because uh, 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 how do you say uh, afuera de la empresa outside the outside, outside the, of the company outside the, the company Sorry. Hello. 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 Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Uh, Excuse hello. me, teacher. I did not understand what they would do. Create at the conflict, provide a solution. Yeah, to provide. I mean, imagine this: you are the manager of the company, right? And okay. you really want to sell a lot of things, mm -hmm. and you have the top performer, the top salesperson that sells 25, 30 percent of all the sales in the company, but this person also has been accused to be a racist or a discriminating women. Okay. Human resources come to you and says that you need to fire that person. But you know okay. that if you fire that person, you are going to lose a lot of customers and a lot of money. So what will you do? Oh, okay, okay. You are going Perfect. to come with a solution for this one in a way that the company sales are not uh, impacted and also that people, I mean, behave according to the values of the company. Okay. Yes, okay. okay. Thanks. Thanks for that. Thank you, Good teacher. Mother. Francisco, what is Fernando? Ah, it's in this one. Maybe you can lose more if you keep an employee that that 
uh, doesn't fit with your rules or or with the culture or uh, of the company. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Your boss telling you that you don't have to present one day to the job? Like a permission or a license? But permission without pay. But mm. I don't remember the word in Spanish and English. Like a discount. Uh, what? Like discount. A uh, discount, but this one, teacher, I don't know if you can re uh, refresh my mind. Okay. Uh, like you, that work at call center, first, uh, first is a verbal warning. Yeah. Then is a written warning. A written, yeah. And, uh, and then? Uh, then is a suspension. Suspension, that, that word. <laughs> I, don't, I didn't remember that word. Yeah, that's one suspension. Uh, one suspension. And after that, maybe I fired that person. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you're ready? Um, almost, almost. I, I think uh, I have one solution that I mentioned to Ada that the first step is to be to educate this person to not be racist and not to um, what is the yeah racist and Discrimi discrimination, yeah. Discrimination. Not to be racist and not to be um, a person who made discrimination, acts of discrimination, maybe like a mandatory course or classes or uh, in order to that person change his behavior. And also if that behavior continue, uh, maybe we could we could have to we could make make him to pay some fines or pay in in um yeah with time or with with money I don't know uh, in order that he feel that that behavior have a consequence 
Okay, uh, sounds like a plan. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, if that if if that behavior continue, that behavior keep. Uh, maybe we could change that person from to another branch. I don't know if that would be possible. Okay. Um, because I don't know, maybe, maybe um, some person feel comfortable with some kind of people and I don't know, in, the, in another place, another branch, it could perhaps be he won't tend to to do that kind of behavior. Okay. Um, yeah, like um, no, no. change the, the people from from no. workplace to another workplace. No. Because we we really need that person to to no, no, no. to no. keep the no. sales in to to increase the sales. Uh, but I don't know. I think that is not the correct solution. The correct solution um, is no matter what it means, um, fire th that kind of, of people. And since the, since the beginning, so clearly with the new employee that that behavior is totally not accepted. At all. So even if we, if the company uh, maybe lose his sales, I think the values um, are before the the other thing, the values of the company. So okay, I I think it's not the the best solution for the company because the, the company really. Some companies or some branches need to achieve a goal uh, per week or per month. But, uh, the correct solution is to hire to fire that that kind of people and and the new employees talk clearly with them and say say then that that kind of behavior is not allowed. Okay. Company. It sounds very nice, actually. I hope you can share with uh, the people on the class. By now, we're going to go back there and we're going to check the attendance and then we're going to share, okay? Okay. Good. Good. Okay, so it was very interesting to see, well, to listen what you have discussed. Anyways, we're going to share with the group, but before that happens, uh, we are going to, to check the attendance, definitely. So let's see how it goes. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Good. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Good. Dani Jose Garcia Martinez. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin González Martinez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present. Present, teacher.
Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Very well. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmín Rivas Navas. Present teacher. Good. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Brand Mejía. Present teacher. Good. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present. Good. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Good. Sonia Guadalupe Benítez de Claros. Sulaima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Good, perfect. Okay, now the, the time has come. I would like you to share with the group the conclusions on how to handle this conflict that is the same for everybody. So what are we gonna do? We have a person that is the top performer. He's the huge person. He is amazing. He always get on goals and uh, he has a lot of new customers every month. But then human resources comes and says, you know, he is discriminating people. He uh, is discriminating women. He is kind of racist. Human resources says we need to fire him or her. And then we need to decide what we're gonna do. So what is your solution? What did you discuss? Tell us please, who wants to start? Well, uh, in the first time maybe uh, we, well, well uh, we was talking about the situation and uh, we was discussed that the first step is try to talk with that person and try to understand the situation. And Jose Wilfredo was uh, told us that uh, in the second uh, step, maybe is uh, try to uh, assign a letter if uh, he or she don't, uh, ¿cómo sería? ¿Cómo acatar? To follow the procedure if don't, don't uh, if she or she if he or she continue with the same actions maybe uh, try to get um what is it an agreement agreement yeah in agreement an agreement uh, and the, finally maybe um get a suspension, give a suspension to that person, or uh, I was uh, sharing that another solution is maybe uh, change that person of the teamwork and try to um, maybe, uh, I don't know, uh, try to, uh, Como integrar, integrate with another person, with another team, and maybe uh, try to uh, see if the, that person change her or, or, or his actions. I don't know, maybe a little change in the team uh, get a better result. With, okay. uh, without extremely uh, decision. Okay, it sounds like a very good plan. It's like a, a regular process on discipline, right? Uh, mm -hmm. What do you think that you will do uh, as the team that you were discussing that one? What would you do if you actually process everything that you said and there is no change? maybe get an extremely decision and say goodbye. Okay. But for me, it's an extremely decision because uh, I was sharing with the group that in my previous job, 
I remember that my 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 boss um, have some uh, conf conflict person in the team of talking about work or process or uh, person or individual action or something like that. And he always uh, give a second or three opportunity for that person. And sometimes uh, some guys change and other guys say goodbye by himself. But I think that you need to give an opportunity uh, and try to um, give another and maybe at least two opportunities to change and maybe you can find another solution extremely solution but um, according to my uh, previous uh, knowledge uh, i know that person change when you try to understand the reason why they doing something like that. So everything has a reason. And you uh, may be in a leader position, you need to try to understand why or what happened. Okay, sounds like a very good plan. Very nice, perfect. Thank you for sharing. So who wants to share? Any other group? We are number two with uh, Jose. Okay. Uh, let me tell you what a productive meeting we had <laughs> because the Rivas, uh, um, we been discussing like uh, like six uh, steps to do. Uh, first, uh, what we will do is to create like a disciplinary action plan, and we are going to establish uh, the rules and let the, the he or she let uh, let her know or let him know that what the issue is that the team members are um uh a com accomplish will be accomplish about the his or her uh, treatment and that it discriminated etc now as he or she is a top performer, a seller top performer, you know, in sales, we don't like that, that someone touch our money. And the first thing we will do in the disciplinary action is to, uh, after explaining the what's going on the situation, we are going to suspend the bonus. And uh, we all know that there are bonus. And we were discussing if this would be illegal or not. But at the end, we conclude that a bonus is not part of your salary, your legal salary. So uh, Jose and I, we've been maybe some time ago uh, in a similar situation. And, and we think that this is possible to suspend for one month your bonus. As, the second, as a second uh, step, uh, it would be also discount like a discretionary days. For example, in our workplace, we have five discretionary days. So if we discount one, you will have just four during the next, the rest of the year. Uh, and, and also this will be, in a blackout period for six months. And that is something that we've been through. So it's something that we know. The third step, it will be that he or she will lose the opportunity to select a, his a day off because as a top performer, we suppose is in a premium schedule. So we are going to decide your schedule and your days off. That will be something that it would be losing. Uh, as the step number four, it will be, we understand that for some people, maybe it's not easy to socialize with other. 
and it's not something that they don't want to do. Sometimes they need assistance with a professional, with a therapist. So part of the plan is to offer assistance with a therapist that uh, the company will pay for that. In case he or she doesn't want to take advantage of that, that will be a, a no-no, right? Because it's like uh, there is a will issue to accomplish right there. It, it remember that is his or her job that is uh, in judgment, right? As a seller, it's a top performer, but there is also a, um, an environment we need to take care of with uh, the rest of the team. So we can offer assistance with a therapist or professional. The fifth step, it will be also, all these will be together with one-on-one, uh, -on -one, daily one-on-ones to recognize or check in the, the uh, improvements this person is doing on a daily basis and having rewarding words or follow up and, and verify a close follow up. And in this fixed step to do, it will be important to work or put a windows time frame to accomplish the plan. We were thinking it would be okay to work in a windows time frame of one or two months. And if we don't, if he, this person doesn't accomplish or there is no change or willing to change. So we will be in an, as, a, as managers, as the bosses we are, we will be in an agreement with HR department to fire this person. And also we under his or her consent, because for that reason, there is a, a windows time frame because we know that it's not easy to change uh, attitudes that they are still with you. They, they've been there your entire life. That is the reason why we are offering also a, a therapist or professional assistant. So it was a very productive uh, session with Jose. <laughs> okay. But I don't know if Jose wants to add something else. Jose. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> 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 I don't know if you want to add something else. Uh, something mm, else. Actually, no. <laughs> yeah, I took notes. Most of the ideas were from from him, so I was taking notes and just working. And I, I was his, her secretary. His secretary. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but just actually, some something that is cool because I was on a, on a sales account. So it's like get the, the bonus, right? Or like mm -hmm. a gift card. So it, it is nice, right? But but in order that, that he can or she can get the, the like the, the solution, right? To, to improve that like treatment, like, or like the way that they treat. So probably that will be a, a nice like action. In order that probably it will like be okay. So uh, and at the end he will realize or she will realize that that action. So so you, it will cause a, like mm -hmm. a all the actions have the a cost, right? In mm -hmm. this case, it would be yes. monetary cost. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is, that is what we've been discussing to you. Good, very good. Very interesting, the steps that you have discussed. And uh, the therapist was also very interesting, very nice thing. Nice, thank you. Uh, let's listen to another group and then we're going to analyze all the things together. Um, only two groups have shared. So what about the other ones? There were six groups. Hello. Uh, maybe uh, we were talking about about the situation with Maria and okay. So uh, this person is the the 
the best of the best in the department. Okay, so, but if we if we are aware of this situation, uh, maybe this behavior have been for some or for the last three months. Okay, uh, so in order to understand uh, why is behaving like this, uh, the last thing that we were talking about is to understand the background of the person. Why is he or she behaving behaving like this? Maybe uh, it's a, a problem, a family issue or something like this, who is, uh, which is worrying uh, about and uh, if the situation is uh, very uh, complicated, uh, maybe the company should show him or show her uh, all the support that this person needs in order to to superar overcome to overcome the situation and uh we were talking the about this on the last uh, part of the of the Discussion. of the time okay. uh -huh, of the time and at the beginning we were talking about uh uh take this person away and try to talk with, with him or with her about what is happening uh, and maybe uh, try to, uh, um, how to say this, like, uh, como ponerme a disciplinarias to get that disciplinary process. Uh -huh. Process in order to, uh, this person has to understand that the, that the behave that he or she is, is having with all the people is not aligned with the values of the company. So the client is first, okay, but all of your coworkers or your partners are, uh, at the same uh, level that you, so you don't have to uh, to um, how to say this, como mirar de menos. Okay, look under. Uh -huh, to look under the other people because uh, they are your co-workers if they are and they are clients which is more uh, uh, complicated the situation because if a client is complaining about uh, the behavior of this uh, person, uh, sometimes the, the client could uh, talk with you as a manager. So uh, that person uh, treat me bad and please do something if uh, the client wants to, but uh, there are people who don't talk with their manager and just they just leave and buy the same uh, product or the same service in other company and you lose a client and you don't know why you lose that client. So the important thing is try to talk with this person. Uh, in order to uh, to have a better uh, uh, behave, I don't know if, if this uh, phrase is good. Same. Better behavior, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, we didn't talk about uh, bonuses 
<laughs> okay. we, we didn't talk about uh, the things that uh, the other uh, uh, partners <laughs> were talking about, but we, um, we were talking about this, about the, the background of the situation of these people. Uh -huh. I Very think it, uh -huh. it's okay. I don't know if Maria Alejandra uh -huh. wants to add something that I missed. Something else, Maria Alejandra. It doesn't seem the case. Uh, okay, so uh, very good, very good approach. So trying to understand people and check about the background and see why this is happening. That is very important. Okay, three groups have participated, two or three more groups are still missing. So who wants to share now? Teacher. Go ahead. Okay, my God, uh, we were discussing about about rules of behavior in the company. All the company needs to have a, a code of, of, of behavior. And this rule must be respected for all the people, even if you are the, the, best, the best seller. So the rule is for all the people. And the rules warranted that, uh, that warranty a, a good environment in the in the in the company. So uh, some some step maybe uh, can be the first step is talking with the people and advertising, but not taking uh, drastic measures. But is the people continue with his be bad behavior, the next step it will be um, more or very mm. a little hard. So in if the if the person broke broke the rules, I don't know, maybe three or or four times, it will be fire. Even though it's is that the company lost those sales, but the more valuable valuable assets of the company is the people. So if the people feels good with their with their job, uh, the company will be succeed. Okay, very good, very nice, and very nice because you have presented that you were going to do something before, but then if it's no option, of course you can't move on with the uh, most drastic part. Teacher, I don't know, if, I'm not sure, but I don't know if you say that we have to, to uh, path, to make a path about uh, some conflict that human resources tell you that you have to fire someone. I mean, yeah, uh, it's uh, the, the problem was like that, was that he is, your most valuable asset because he's uh, the top sales person and he's like, he represents around 25% of the sales of the whole company. Mm -hmm. So if you fire that person, you're going to lose 25% of the sales and probably the customers. But then human resources, the recommendation, they want to fire that person. So uh, then at the end, it was your decision as the leader of the company. So that was the main uh, structure of the conflict let's say what would you do how would you well, fix that like first is maybe set one meeting with the, the person that is i don't know if we can call harassment uh-huh yeah harassment yeah harassment right okay uh, set a meeting with that person that is harassment the other employees and uh, well show them uh well show him or her the the performance that that he or or she has and explain that he is a, he is really a good employee but with 
uh, his or her behavior, uh, her performance is being affecting uh, the rest of the, the team. And maybe uh, before to speak with, uh, with that person, Maybe uh, try to make a deal with the uh, human resources that we can make an action plan, something like that. Action plan, I guess. Mm -hmm. Well, where when first you need to be like uh, informed that you will be fired for it. some uh, some behavior that 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 you that that person has. Uh, like first one could be one uh, verbal warning uh, where you explain that you need that behavior be improved because it's affecting the, the rest of the team. And uh, second one, uh, if that person continue with that behavior, maybe you could continue with a uh, written warning. And uh, speak with with Kirill or Harry uh, again, and uh, if the that behavior uh, still happen, uh, like third one, you pull suspension like one or two days without pay. Uh, after that, uh, I guess that you gave enough notification for that person, and you could fire. But during the the process. Uh, maybe you could make one section with the all employees for the, the for the company, or with the sales team, and maybe uh, maybe make that person like like host, like he could. Uh, or he or she could uh, share some information or some important information in how he or her is uh, rich in the world. And well, that could be my my action plan or, or the action plan that we discuss in the group. Okay, very good, perfect. Yeah, it sounds like a very good plan to have the disciplinary action plan to make that person understand about the behavior and then, well, let them know that. If there's no change, there will be a final consequence. Good, perfect. Uh, I think there are two more groups that wants to share. Who's missing? Hello, teacher. Uh, in our case, we, are, uh, we were talking about with Ada about this, the solution, the possible solution, and we define a, a little plan. The first step, maybe it could be to make a, a mandatory course or that person obligated to that person to take class about how to, how to deal or how to treat or or co-workers and, and the consequence about the bad behavior. And this is the first step. If he continue with that behavior, the second step is may make him to pay some fine or um, some like a punishment. Um, maybe it could be like other um, classmates say, uh, hit the bonus or, or remove the bonus or uh, remove days off, I don't know, uh, it could be a good way. And the first step is that continue, that behavior continue, could be change that people, that, that person, sorry, uh, to another another branch. I don't know if it's that possible. Um, but at the end, I think the the best solution is immediately fire that that person because uh, in the company, I think the environment is something very special. It's very important. Uh, if the others 
the other sales rep don't feel comfortable with the environment, maybe we lost more sales than the other person who is ahead of all the team produce. produce. So I think uh, we can create a plan to, to distribute the, the charge of that person, the, the account that the person handle in order that the, the rest of the team could address that, that share. And also we need a, a new employee, a new sales rep for, and yeah, an employee and talk with, with that person that from the beginning that we not allow that behavior, racist or, or kind of uh, that. So, it could be our plan. That would be our plan. Very good, very interesting. Perfect. Thank you, Marcus. So, yeah, uh, the plan sounds like a very good situation. I mean, when you are going to try to solve the issue and, well, do your best as the leader, right? I guess there is one more. Who's missing? I don't know who's missing. There was one more group, I guess. Anybody? From that last group? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Okay, uh, that is specific case. Uh, well, I, I understand that uh, it's like um, normal behavior for that person in human resources. Um, have um, many warnings to that that person, and human resources have wants to lay off that person, right? So, uh, if human resources doesn't have a a, re a good result with the warnings and that person continue with that behavior. Um, I think uh, no matter that if that person is uh, really good in, the, in their job or in his job, and the best way to proceed is uh, lay off that person because uh, that kind of situation um, can damage the war environment and the accomplishment of the goal in the company or in the department uh, in that person uh, works. And, you know, in a company, you can be really good, but no one is indispensable. And I think um, you have to be careful with the work environment in your in your company. So for me, the best way to proceed is lay off that person. Okay, so very interesting uh, because it's like, well, uh, we have values and we have procedures, right? So we need to do one. Sure. Go ahead. I, I wanted to tell you that it really depends on the company because there are companies that they have zero tolerance. They don't allow anybody to have this kind of um, comportamiento. How do you say comportamiento? Behavior. 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 Uh -huh. They don't allow anybody because it's, it's out of the law and they don't, they don't, they don't like to have the risk to be sued by anybody. So yeah. even, even though you're the best, they think they can find someone, someone good. It doesn't matter because the risk to have you inside the company is, is higher. Okay. Okay, yeah, that is actually so true. I mean, everything that you have said sounds amazing and it's important. Um, it's very nice that you, the first thing that almost everybody told is try to help the, the person, right? Not only because he is the best 
salesperson, but also because it's an employee uh, and it's part of the team. Uh, yeah. Heidi and uh, Yvonne are all, also right. That depends on the company. Sometimes is zero tolerance, right? Yeah, and for example, in, in I, I don't know, in many situations, you have to set the precedence because you have to give a message to the other person. For example, in my company, if you fight uh, in the inside the company, you are fired. No matter if you have a warning uh, before of that, that is uh, zero tolerance for that kind of, of behavior. Okay. Yeah, actually that is true. Uh, yeah, I know that this was a very general conflict, but that depends on the situation, depends on the actions, depends on the words that the person did or said. Also depends on how many are there. I mean, two, three, well, we can research, but if that person is treating bad everybody since like four, six months ago, I mean, that is a real problem. And uh, yeah, you are right. Some, depending on the situation, there are some companies that they have a zero tolerance. They are going to cut off things. It doesn't matter what happens, if you are the best, if you are whatsoever. And as I was telling you, it's very interesting that you try, you try. I mean, the most of you, you, you were trying, you were with a disciplinary reaction. Maybe, I mean, the best would be to, to understand the situation, right? To check what is going on. But not all the companies have a psychologist or a therapist for, for the company. I mean, there are some companies that they have. And if you have that resource, of course, you can use it. But sometimes, I mean, you are so busy and everybody's busy and, I mean, it's kind of difficult to sit down 30 minutes, one hour with an employee every two days uh, to, to discuss behavior that should be the correct one from the very beginning. And a strategy that some companies does in this kind of situation is to retrain people. So they said to all the employees, we're going to train you in and this, and I mean, it can be about discriminating people and behavior in the company. And you teach everybody some behavior that is not the correct one. And then the consequences of those behaviors and do some exercises within all the employees. And at the end, to sign a paper. I agree that if I do not behave, I will uh, get these consequences in my job. After that one, probably, to speak with a person if something else is going on might be a good idea. Uh, but everything that you have said, uh, it seems like the, the one that regularly happens in the company. I mean, sit down, we have to discuss about this. You are very good and then, but this is not correct. Uh, maybe I try to understand if it's not possible, get a disciplinary process. And uh, depending on the situation, I mean, if that person really offended somebody or even worse, he made some actions against some other people at the end, even if he's the best, it would be a termination, right? That is the word, termination. Another thing that we can do is uh, to avoid this kind of situation, I mean, to lose these kind of things, this kind of employees is, uh, and that happens in many companies, is to get this person, these people that are very nice and uh, share good practices, share what he's doing with uh, the, uh, the customers and the strategy that he has uh, with other employees. So at the end, if somebody goes, uh, somebody says here, nobody's indispensable. I mean, you, you are very important, but if you go, of course, another person can come and take your place. Um, and sadly, that happens for us as well, right? So if you don't do a very good job, the company says goodbye. So many things may be possible in this kind of conflict. Everything was very good, interesting. And uh, thank you for sharing, of course. Do you have any final comment about this? Okay, so just to finish, I have a little test that is about uh, these kind of things. It's about workplace conflicts. So 
let's work together. Do you remember this? So, disagreements in goals, fact or expectation can be considered a argument, breach of contract, workplace conflict, customer service. What do you believe is the answer for this? Disagreement in goal, fact, our expectations. What is that? Maybe argument. Argument. Everybody agrees? Mm, workplace conflict. Workplace conflict. Workplace so, conflict. Workplace conflict. conflict. We have two yeah. for that. Anybody else's? Two and one. Workplace conflict. Workplace, we have three in yeah. workplace. Workplace one. conflict. Workplace conflict. Very good. Let's just check onto that one. So, workplace conflict. And, is it there, right? Okay, the next one, yeah, we have time for this one. Uh, conflict is normal and inevitable process of our organization. Is that true or false? It's true. 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 Okay. Very well. The other one says finding the middle ground. I'm sorry, the middle ground in a conflict is avoiding conflict, a compromise, managing conflict, or processing conflict. What do you think? Managing conflict. Managing. Managing. Managing conflict. Managing conflict. Everybody yes. agrees? Yes. Okay. So the other one says, who must act as referees to solve employee conflicts and guard against losing their temper? Employee, supervisor, customers, or friend? This is a supervisor. Different. Supervisor. 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 Very well. Nice. Supervisor. What are some sources of conflict? Communication, jealousy, pride, all of the above. All of the above. All, all of, of the above. above. All of the above. Yeah, communication is a big issue. Jealousy shouldn't, but sometimes it happens. Pride, it shouldn't, but also that happens. Very well. All of the above. Okay. Conflict rarely resolves itself. In fact, conflict normally escalates if not dealt with proactively and properly. True. True, true, true. true, true. Good. So the next one says conflict is when two people or groups disagree and disagreement causes friction. Is that true? True. 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 True, true, true. Okay. When you let your emotions drive your decision, it can cause conflict in the workplace. True. 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 That is true. Hey, we have agreed in this one. Some positive results can happen as a result of a conflict, include facilitating employee growth, teamwork, and developing new ideas and solutions. Movement away from a goal, creating a negative climate, compensation. Developing, Developing new, new ideas. ideas, ideas Developing new ideas. Good, you agree on this one. That's nice. Okay, and we're almost finishing. Uh, you should use conflict resolution strategies to solve workplace problems. True. true. That true. is also true. Very well. And reasons that a conflict can occur is due to environmental factors, personal differences, different objectives, all of the above. All of, all of, of, the, above. Above. All of the above. All of the above. Very well. And the last one, it says a negative result of a conflict can be breakdown in communication, negative relationships, 
ineffective working groups, all of the above. All of the above. Okay, let me just check if we can see the answers here. Uh, here. Okay, so on the first one, we say disagree. Yeah, workplace conflict. So you were right. The disagreements in goals, facts, or expectations can be considered a workplace conflict. Okay, maybe that was the only one that we were like. Which one is the correct one, right? Number two, conflict is a normal and inevitable process in an organization. True, that is true. Always we're going to have conflict, even if you are the best and your values are very good and communication is very good, there is always conflict. In the best relationships, I mean, if you have a best friend, if you have a boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, husband, there is always conflict, no matter how much love, uh, no matter how well the communication is, true. So we need to be ready to manage conflict. Number three, finding uh, the middle group ground in a conflict is, uh, I guess this was not correct, right? That was, you say, the most of you managing conflict, and this is a compromise. Because it's finding the middle, right? We're in the middle, uh, but you are not handling the conflict of a group. So you compromise that you are going to give something and ask for something. And you are going to, I mean, you are in the middle of that situation. Okay, number four, who must act as referees to solve employee conflicts and guard against losing their temper? Definitely this was supervisor, right? Uh, no, no, no employees. Sometimes they help, but that is not good. Number uh, five also was correct. What are some sources of conflict? Of course, communication is one of the main. Pride, uh, that depends on people and how the relationship is. And jealousy, I mean, that happens sometimes, but we need as leaders to try to avoid that kind of situations. Number six, uh, conflict really resolves itself in fact, conflict normally escalates if not dealt with proactively and properly. Of course, that is true. If you don't do anything about a problem in your team, many things can happen and the consequences are not good for you, your team and the whole company. Number seven, conflict is when two people or groups disagree and disagreement causes friction. True. Yeah, because, uh, I mean, you can disagree uh, and do not have a friction, don't have problems. But sometimes those disagreements, yes, they can cause friction. And then problems can arise. Number eight, when you let your emotions drive your decision, it can cause conflict in the workplace. True. Very, very true. The real problem is that we're full of emotions, right? Even when you are very analytic and you really uh, have values and you really are a team player, you don't, you are not the same every day. Sometimes uh, you are tired, sometimes you're sick, sometimes you have problems at home, many things happen. So definitely that can, emotions can cause some problems there. Number nine, some positive results that can happen as a result of a conflict include facilitating employee growth, teamwork, and of course, as you say, developing new ideas and solutions. Yeah, when you integrate people, when you tell them what the goals are and ask them, what, what should we do? What, what do you think? Yeah, they are there for you and they are going to be part of the team in many ways. Number 10, you should use conflict resolution strategies to solve workplace problems. Of course, that is true, right? So you should have some strategies. You need to sit down, analyze, try to identify the people that are involved, what is the background of the people, the culture of the people, what is the situation, and then try to come with a solution. Number 11, Reasons that a conflict can occur is due to, of course, all of the above was the answer, environmental factors, because yeah, that happens depending on many things, right? 
sometimes a little thing like one person has the biggest desk. I mean, that sometimes causes some conflict. Different objectives, personal differences, because we are all different and you cannot avoid that one. Last one, a negative results of a conflict can be, of course, all of those. Breakdown in communication, ineffective working groups, negative relationships, definitely. Everything is going to be impacted about this one. Good, so it was a very good thing. So uh, do you have any question about this? Mm -mm. Very well, very well. So today was very interesting. We changed a little bit the way that we teach the class and you learn and practice, uh, but it was very, very interesting. So the good thing is that tomorrow we're going to be here again, practicing more English. And also the another good news is that I'm going to check the attendance and then you can go to bed and rest. So. Teacher. Yes, go ahead. I have a question. Um, um, I have a problem with the homework 1.1 because um, uh, that homework only had four questions, but in the take, take um, five. So I, I answer all the four questions and it's okay, but uh, the points are only 16, not 20. Actually, we discussed that like two weeks ago or one week and a half ago, and we reported that one. That uh, I already reported that one. And also I reported the one that is the 1.9 mm -hmm. that has a problem. Is, that is like, I mean, that is a coding problem. Uh, so I reported that one. As long as I have the solution on that one, I will let you know. So those are the only two exercises that you have reported as not correct. Uh, any other exercise besides the 1.1 1 .1 and 1.9? Mm, no. Okay. Okay, please remember to move on with the exercise because by next Wednesday or Tuesday, I guess, yeah, Tuesday, we need to finish one, uh, section one, section two, and also the middle term test. So that is important. So you are not behind. Remember that I'm going to be sending the grades to Insafor. So it's very important. I know that some of you haven't done some of the exercises, uh, but you need to move on, okay? Okay. And I will be asking about those two exercises. I hope the rest of the plat uh, platform doesn't have any problem. But if you find any problem, let me know and I'll, I will report it, okay? So up. let's check the attendance. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Good. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Good. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Good. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. For you is the 101 today, Jose Osmin. Okay. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Bran Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Maria Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Good. Ramon Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Omaña Orellana. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Good. Sonia Guadalupe Benítez de Claros. Suleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Good, perfect. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be here with you tonight. I hope you have a wonderful night. I hope to see you tomorrow, Dreaming English, and rest very well. Thank you, Zuchir. Everyone, thank you, Zuchir. Good, Good, Good night, everybody. See you tomorrow. Thank you, Zuchir. Goodbye, everybody.
8. Hello, Jose. How are you? Oh, cool. Do, doing great, teacher. Very well. I'm happy to hear that one. So, and uh, well, the first question is always do you have any questions about anything in the class, this module, last modules that we have checked? Uh, no, teacher. So, everything is cool. I don't have any question about it. Clear as or chata. Very nice. Yeah. And how do you feel that you are moving on? Do you feel that you are learning? Yeah, teacher. Actually, yes. I get in, like more information. Actually, the words that I actually didn't understood understand uh, before, like so some words that I didn't realize that that is, exist, right? So I'm putting notes, I taking notes in order that, that I that I can like put in practice. Because if, if we practice those words, so we will remember, right? But I actually so I'm getting more information, more words. Very good. I'm very happy that you are getting more vocabulary. To be honest with you, also I have seen that if we compare this module and the previous module, you are speaking. Uh, more fluent and uh, more secure. So that is very good. I really like it. Yes. Okay. So the invitation is for you to continue practicing. Participate in the class as much as you can. And you will, of course, uh, be more fluent. The English is going to be improved. So this is, uh, I know that sometimes we are busy or sometimes we're tired, but uh, if you continue practicing and taking advantage of this two-hour class, uh, you are going to improve a lot. Yeah, you're right. And I will do it. Perfect. I hope that happens. So, and uh, yes. speaking about in general in English, which part is the, the one that you believe is the one that is more difficult for you? I mean, speaking or reading or listening or uh, writing. Mm, probably writing. Writing, okay. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes speaking to write. So, okay. Mm -hmm, because there are some vocabulary that we are not like used to to to, to say, right? So and we had to like look for that that word so in our mind, so in order that we can like put it in the in the sentence. I think that sometimes it happened to me. So, but, but I try to, to, to remember, to put the, the words that I didn't use before, you know, and that I, that I can like usually use and I will re remember after that. Okay, perfect. So yeah, if you have, I mean, speaking normally is the one that we have more problems. So you just need to practice a little bit more, participate in the class. If you have somebody else to practice with, also take advantage of that one. And about yeah. Sorry for that. and uh, about writing, okay, that is easy. But I know that sometimes we need to take in consideration grammar and the structure of the words. So you can do both. You can well, actually, you can do three things. First one is for you to look for exercises on specific grammar online, so you can write and check if everything is correct. You can write also. I mean, uh, there are some softwares or applications where you can type something and then they are going to correct you. And the other one is reading. If you start reading every new word that you find, you will be able to find them in a dictionary and then try to use them. And that is going to help you increase in the vocabulary so you can uh, get better understanding on the English and then move on with this. Yeah. Yes, that's right. And actually, so I, I implemented something so that I did before that I, I'm like watching some series. So, and, and I put the, the like the, the subtitle too, in order that, that I can like listen and also read the, the words. 
in a render that I can remember. So how can I write those words and also the pronunciation, right? So I doing that. So I, I did it before. So, and actually it helped me a lot and I will improve it. I will continue checking Perfect. those. So that sounds very good. So if you continue like that, uh, yeah, you are going to improve. Actually you're improving, I have noticed that one. And uh, well, if you have any questions, remember that you can chat with me directly or in the group and you can ask also in the class. So of course it will be a pleasure to help. Perfect, thanks so much. Appreciate that. It's a pleasure. So my friend, it was a pleasure to be here with you tonight. So have a good night and see you tomorrow. Oh, have a good night too. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.